Good morning, everyone, and welcome. It's Marcy here from Stampin' with Marcy. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in southwestern Ontario, Canada. I'm just looking to make sure I am live. Um, I'm an independent... Blah, blah, blah. It's Monday. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in southwestern Ontario, Canada, and I want to thank you for pressing play on today's video. If you have not yet, please click that subscribe button below as well as that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos from me. Uh, please leave me a comment. Give me a um, thumbs up. I love to hear from you. Uh, let me know where my viewers are uh, watching me from. Today, I am going to be creating with products from this brand new catalog. I cannot open it yet. Um, until May 1st, but uh, trust me, there is some, some, some really fabulous products in here. Um, I'm a little out of practice because I haven't been live since last uh, Monday morning. So please um, bear with me, cross your fingers, toes and everything else that we don't have any sound issues today. So I'm going to flip you around. So just close your eyes for one moment while I flip you around to my desktop view. All right. Put my hand over the camera so you don't get motion sickness or anything. And let's just flip you around. Come on. All right. We're a little wonky there. Bring you up. There we go. Tighten that. So did you have a fabulous weekend? Oh my goodness. My weekend was so good. I was at my sister's um, up in the, um, in Ivy Lee. It is the other side of um, Gananoque. So in Gananoque is the other side of Kingston. So it, uh, it was a five hour drive. My older sister, Anne and I went to spend the weekend at our younger sister, Carol's house. We laughed, we had, um, crafting time. It was just wonderful. We uh, watched a few crime dramas. We, <laughs> we love our crime dramas, the three of us girls. Oh, my goodness. Yes. My kids make fun of me and all the um, crime dramas that I uh, watch. <laughs> okay. So, I like I said, I am using brand new products that will not be available. I'm just moving things here so that I don't have... What is that shadow from there? Move that out of the way to over there. Um, like I said, we're using brand new products from this catalog. So let me move this out of my way. My catalogs will be available for pickup by the end of the week for my um for my customers and um, I will be mailing them to uh, my uh, non-local customers by the end of the week as well. So this is the adorable stamp set that we are going to be creating with. Um, I'm also using the nested essentials dies. These are carrying over. There's quite a bit that is not carrying over. So be sure to, um, get those products that you want before they sell out. I'm also using the Unbounded Beauty Designer Series paper. This is the pattern here. This is Peach Pie, and I love this. It's one of the new in colors. I'm using a couple of the uh, new in colors. Let me show you my adorable card. Look at that cute little mouse. It is so sweet. So this is sending birthday hugs. Uh, so my base is peach pie. 
And this looks fairly similar to uh, my bridesmaids dresses from my wedding coming up on 35 years ago. So I really like this um, soft orange color. Okay, and this is Petunia Pop. Now I noticed this weekend I was doing, uh, I was creating for my upcoming um, in-person catalog launch. And I noticed that quite a few of the bundles that I purchased so far have flower dies. So this one has these here. And then there's another one here. And then of course your other um, heart, heart type flowers. But I've noticed that quite a few of them have, like I said, the flower dies, which I really like. All right, so let's move this aside. Put those there. I am going to be, let's get that in camera view. I'm going to be coloring, stamping with the basic gray and where is i've got all my bits here now i just checked this morning i was on a media uh social media type of break this weekend while i was at uh, carol's house with ann i was um really just focusing on quality time with my sisters so I popped on quickly this morning and these are the 2024 to 2026 in color resin dots. These are not available right now. And when the catalog goes live, they are not on May 1st. They're not going to be available for purchase either right quite yet. So um, obviously us demonstrators are loving them. Now, speaking of new cat, new catalog products, you can get your hands on these before May 1st by joining my um, team. I would love for you to join my Sassy Stampers if you live anywhere in Canada, you can be part of my team. All right, I'm just moving that to the side. And let's see, I've got two tiny little strips of cardstock here for my sentiment. Let's see if I can stamp this straight. Yeah, so I was um, focusing on creating samples for my catalog launch. Oh, look at that. Woo! I did it. That looks pretty darn good. All right, so let's set these aside and um, we are going to, I want them to dry, close this up. I'm going to get this ink stuff done first. So can you see that I've got that hint of blue behind my little mousy? It just helps pop that image. So I'm taking my balmy blue and I am just going to lightly add a hint of color for that cute little mousy to be popped up on. Now my original card here, I used bubble bath. And I think I didn't, um, for my um, blog post, I put down that I used the Pretty in Pink. Because when I grabbed my blends to color, I automatically just went and grabbed the Pretty, or the um, Bubble Bath. And I thought today we are going to use Pretty in Pink. It is another in color that's coming. So there we go. Just a little bit of blue. And that is done. Okay. So move that to the side. Grab my 
die cutting machine and we are going to first off we are going to die cut three flowers from our little strip here all right so we're going to grab these this um, combined one here and this one here you can get quite a few flowers out of a tiny strip of cardstock. Okay, get you in camera view there. And again, as always, because this is the mini stamp and cut emboss machine, you need to make that um, sandwich. Hold that tight. You need to make that sandwich so that it is like an E where your cutting plate is recessed back a little bit. There we go. Okay, let's move that to the side for a moment because I personally like to color before I die cut. So I see I can still get another piece die cut out of that. And let's take my scissors and cut this down so it's not quite as big. This is thick basic white. Get my little flowers off. I'm going to put them on there because I am going to do a little bit of pressure on that to create my um, cut shape. Okay, so now I'm going to, I've got my light pretty in pink. So like I said, this is slightly different. This is, this heart here is the uh, bubble bath. This time I'm using Pretty in Pink because it's a gorgeous new ink color. So let's just use it and carefully color in this little heart. Now you may recognize Pretty in Pink. It was an ink color a few years ago and it has come back because it is so fabulous. All right, and now let's come in with our dark. Just to add that little bit. There we go, super cute, coming along. Not taking too uh, long to color this cutie patootie. So light gray granite. It is a gorgeous day here, again, here in Southwestern Ontario, Canada. Yesterday morning, when Anne and I left at eight o'clock in the morning to head home, it was at Carol's place <laughs> It was only five degrees Celsius. Oh my goodness, it was cold. Yet, get home to Strathroy and it was 20 degrees. Like, what a difference in temperatures. My guys have a tea time today. So, I think. I will be joining them because it's going to be, it's not going to be as warm today, uh, 18 degrees, golfing at dinner time. So it will be 16 by the time we're done. So I said, okay, that's a acceptable temperature for me. I, I am a warm weather golfer. I don't like the cold when I'm golfing. My hands get so cold. 
Whoops, that's not there. And I'm going to come in with a little bit of dark because, yes, she's cute, but she's not quite um, got quite enough detail there. So if I come in with a bit of my dark gray granite to add. She's going to look a little bit better. And then come in here. The base of her tail is going to be a little darker. And wrap that color around like that. And then bring some down here. It's a tiny image, so you don't want to go too heavy and end up having um, it bleed out on you. So now I'm going to come back and go over that line with my light. And their feeties are always a little lighter anyway, I think. I don't exactly take a good close look at mice. <laughs> so... I know there's been a lot shared with this set. It's so cute. It was one of my must-haves. Because you know me, I love my cute critters. And like I said, if you join my team right now, you can get your hands on these fun products before May 1st. My newsletter went out this morning reminding everybody that today is the last day to sign up for my Simply Zinnia class. I have six spots left. It's an in-person class only. There we go. She is sweet. She's a cutie. And you can see the uh, color difference. And I wanted to show that um, what your color difference would be from the bubble bath on the left and pretty in pink on the right. All right, so now we are going to bring in our dye, and this is where my purple tape comes into effect. Let's pull this right. Sorry um, if I'm out of camera view, but I want to make sure I wanna make sure that I'm getting this nice and. Oh, you know what? I didn't bring you up on my iPad, <laughs> so I cannot see any comments. So hold just one second so I can see who's actually watching me and respond. Okay. I think... That is good. All right, so. Bring you up. There we go. Okay, so good morning, Amy, Marilyn, and Jeannie. You gave your daughter your catalog to have it um, bound. Nice. Nice. Yeah, they stopped doing that here in Strathroy at our um, Staples. I used to get it spiral bound, and they stopped doing it. So, yeah, I'll have to reinvestigate that because it certainly does make it easier. 
you did a teeny pre-order and this set was one that you ordered. Oh, nice, Amy. Wait till you see what I have done with the country birdhouses and country whatever that other country one is. Um, super cute. I had so much fun. What is it? Um, country flowers. Yes. I made my goal was two cards per uh, stamp set. So I've got two adorable cards with this and two adorable cards with this. And <laughs> my, my sister Carol was like, yeah, I didn't, I didn't really like that. Um, and then she saw what <laughs> I was doing and she was like, Oh, maybe I need to stamp some of those. Now I think I like it. Thanks a lot. <laughs> so, yeah, sometimes, you know, when you're just looking at the images, you're not quite sure when you just see the stamps that you think, eh. But then once you see it in action put together, it changes your mind. You're like, oh, wow, that is cute. I think I do like that. Okay, so I am going to switch out my Take Your Pick tool. So it has, it comes with uh, the stylus end that has the two different sizes, as well as the pokey doodle end with the spatula end. So I'm going to take this and I don't want flat flowers. I want my flowers, whoops, get you out of the way for the moment. I want my flowers to be uh, cupped. They're just slightly raised. So to do that, I'm just going to take and in a circular motion, kind of go around. Now this is uh, got a hole in the middle and I just smooshed that, but that's okay. So we've got flat and cupped. I much prefer the cupped. So we're gonna do that for this one as well. It's got that little pokey that comes out in the center, that circle. All right. Yeah, I wanted to have samples for my um, catalog launch. And this was one of the samples I made. I also have to finish my swaps. I was in two different swap groups. So I got the larger one done and out the door last week before I left town. So the other one I have to create still for that's this week's this week's plan along with my um, getting my catalogs the rest of the way ready. I'm going to take this down just slightly more. So I'm just there we go taking just that little sliver of cardstock off. Okay, we have the inside of this is just that three quarters of an inch strip of DSP. I actually just did that this morning. I did not do any um, insides for my cards because I was on a mission and we were... Um, short on time. Friday morning we went shopping. Went to this delicious bakery in Kingston. We all got treats. And then we had, we went to a um, cooking store that had cooking utensils. And then we had lunch at Shea Piggy. Oh my goodness, that was delicious. I had never been. Anne had been before. 
with um, when she, her and Willie were up. But I had not. And then that picture I posted to our my social media, that was from Riva. That's in Gananoque. What an incredible meal we had. Wow, it was so delicious. Okay. There we go. Now, my DSP is cut to three and three quarters by five. And then my basic white is three and seven eighths. I like to go um, in one eighth increments when I am doing my layers, just making sure that we are nice and even. There we go. This is such a fun pattern on this uh, DSP. Oh, you're a little wonky. There we go. I am looking at my corners. I like to flip it all around just to make sure that it looks even from all sides. There we go. Don't need that. There's my sentiment. So we are going to take, oh, I didn't grab my dimensionals out. All right, little mousy, you're going to get one hair, one hair of the regular, and then I am going to cut a few little strip, a strip because I want some security on that tail. Oh, I notice I still have one in there. All right. Security on the tail that it is not going to go and oh, now I want my pokey doodle end. There we go. I don't want it to sag. Come on. There we go. So I've got a bit of um, lift on that. And then I'm going to cut and put, I don't need this one. I don't, well, we'll see. So then there and down here. It's the great thing about your dimensionals, you can cut them down. Didn't grab that. To get the exact size that you need. Let's make sure that it's not showing. And this one here has the backing on it, as does this one. Okay, let's grab my reverse tweezers, bring that back in, and let's pop you right there. Okay, so now I'm going to grab my glue because I want to put my little flowers So I'm going to go one here. And I'm going to take that and I'm just going to reinforce that cupping shape by just gently pressing it in and putting it over, right over that spot. And I'm going to add a bit more glue. You can see, let me show you. 
You can see that my glue is show, showing through right there. Come on, focus. Wow, my camera just does not want to focus on that image. All right, so I'm gonna go a little bit more glue there. And I'm going to pick up, I'm doing the opposite color. I'm doing the bubble bath, oh, sorry, <laughs> the pretty in pink. All right, and then my next flower is going to go here. Again, reinforcing the cupping shape. Let's turn that so that it's okay. And then a bit more glue to hold both the dot as well as that flower. And then my third one is going to go here. And just gently manipulate that cardstock so that it is the shape I want. And come on. Don't stick to that, stick to the cardstock. All right. And there we go. So you are seeing three of the new in colors in action. What do you think from what you've seen so far? Do you have a favorite in color? Do you like this? year's incoming in colors. I love them. They are my type of tone. All right, so let's get some dimensionals on the back. And one in the center. Press that. Okay. So this is going to go up. As you can see, let's get that out of the way. So this is up over to the side. Like so. And you're a little crooked, but because I have not pressed down, I can adjust. So I'm looking at the side here, the line to make sure that it is straight. All right. So does your daughter have a spiral binding machine, Jeannie? And there, we're just going to tuck you right up against the edge of the DSP. And you are glued flat. And you're a little wonky. There we go. And that is today's card. What do you think? So this one here on the left is the um, bubble bath and this is pretty in pink. Super adorable, I think. Thank you, Anne. So remember we have the retiring list. Things are selling out. Um, I haven't checked to see because they just sell out so quickly um, now that we're coming to the end. So I haven't checked to see what exactly is still available. So be sure to check that out. 
Don't forget to be using my April host code if you are shopping with me. Um, the Our um, measurements on the blog post will be about five minutes. I just have to insert uh, this. I have to insert today's video into the blog post um, so that you can um, get the measurements. Um, is that everything I wanted to tell you? Don't forget, every $50 you spend before tax and shipping with me, if you spend $50 is the minimum, uh, you're going to get Maisie's Makes. $60 gets you Marcy's Merch. And these are the cards this month that uh, I will be sending you the card guts for. These are the three cards. Uh, so... Um, don't forget to shop with me if you live in Canada. And uh, today is the last day to sign up for my in-person Simply Zinnia class. All right, that is all for me today. Have a fabulous rest of your Monday. Uh, it is Monday, April 15th already. We are rather quickly zipping through this month. So have a great day, have a great week, and I will uh, be back on Thursday with a video for you. All right, that's it for me. Have a great day and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.